many hospitals forced to cancel procedures. Al Simbalo's father was supposed to have open heart surgery. <laughs> Crowd strike held an RTA outage last week due to an update. Okay, yeah, nothing too serious. Still in the type of outage. Still in the type of outage, right? Uh, but no, on a serious note, Crowd Strike had this outage, and the implications of this outage are absolutely unacceptable. Absolutely ridiculous. How are we accepting this type of madness? I'm going to play this video, and then we'll come back and we'll discuss the dangers of this sort of situation and why it is important to establish decentralized systems. This concept that Bitcoin is proposing to the world. Let me know say it's proposing to the world. Hmm. Kicking down your door with, but your... I don't want to insult the people. I was going to say kicking down your door, but your brain is not accepting the information. Too slow to understand. Huh. So lazy to understand. Yeah, you're treading on the line with that one. <laughs> they say you cannot use certain words. It's... Have you seen Candice Owens and this other guy, Don Lemon? Did you see the roasting? This woman looked at this man in the eyeball and said, your marriage is a sin. How was I? <laughs> you could tell he wanted to cry, you know, but he had to try to man up at the time so that he would not cry. You know, people don't like the word man up either. I digress. Look at what is happening here. It is a massive computer outage affecting all corners of the globe which could well be the biggest outage the world has seen. Not a cyber attack, but a software update gone bad, affecting Microsoft Windows computers using CrowdStrike cybersecurity software. CrowdStrike is aware of reports of crashes on Windows phones. Among the first affected global airlines, their screens suddenly showing the so-called blue screen of death from Thailand to Portugal, Spain to Scotland. And I think it's fair to describe this as organized chaos at the moment. U.S. airlines went offline overnight, unable to process thousands of passengers. Every 15 minutes, we kept getting these text messages. Your flight is delayed a half hour. Your flight is delayed an hour. Your flight is delayed two hours. Major airlines grounded flights, with Flight Radar 24 showing U.S. airspace thinning out as endless lines wound through airport terminals. Many hospitals forced to cancel procedures. Al Simbalo's father was supposed to have open heart surgery. They called and said. Okay. I think, I think we get the idea there, right? Um, Alison Barlow, a father was supposed to have open heart surgery. Imagine if he was already in the middle of having heart surgery. Yes. Imagine if... The computer, the, the the systems that run the planes while in flight was depending on something like this. Imagine how many planes will fall out of the sky. Imagine your money in the bank, yeah. in the CBDC. Now okay. you, you are supposed to pay for okay. something very critical and now you can't pay for it. Okay. Okay. I hope this is walking your brain towards the point we are getting to here. The whole world mm. was essentially shut down. Pretty much, right? Maybe not everything, maybe not all operating systems, but it was a significant amount. It, in fact, it was a critical amount when flights across the globe are being cancelled, when medical centers are not able to function, when the police cannot respond to emergencies, all because of this monopoly or monopoly way of thinking. Centralized. Right? Centralized entities, right? Mm. It is a dangerous thing. I know in the beginning of this thing, they said it was a software update gone bad or malfunction. That's a lot of questions. Not though. a cyber attack. That's a lot of questions, though. I would like to roll back and explain something real quick to you. Mm -hmm. You know what a cyber attack is? It is bad software. Okay. So if someone was trying to engage in cyber attacks, mm -hmm. this could suffice. Because once this has happened, you have the ability to do significant damage. Everything is offline. Mm. So maybe warning systems may not work. Maybe the police may not come to help you. At that point in time, you are disconnected. It is that easy. Can I say something though? Go ahead. Let me connect the dot. Okay. And create a, we'll call it a theory. Mm -hmm. Cross strike. 
Mm. It's mostly owned by Vanguard. Mm. Vanguard and W on World Economic Forum, mm. which recently told us that this was going to happen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did predict it. So from World Economic Forum to Vanguard that owns most of Strike to now impacting everybody, is this a test? Is Just, this a test or was this if this is an attack? Bitcoin was up though. Because because they I mean I, you're very right about that. I remember we did a video last year and we 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 pointed this out where Schwab said that they'll be cyber. We actually got flagged on TikTok for that video. Yes, we did. Now that I remember it. We well, got flagged on TikTok, TikTok for that video, right? Yes. And they said cyber attacks were coming. Mm -hmm. And I think that we need to point out the fact that if those people, like you said, uh, mm -hmm. Vanguard and all of these guys, mm -hmm. ask CrowdStrike to push out something there, CrowdStrike is not going to say no. Because then they can totally just drop oh, all of their almost. stocks and wreck the company. Yep, they've done it before. This is what this ESG thing is about, right? When you look across the market and you see that they own everything. Oh, yes. They because they can numbers. tell you what to do. If you do not implement ESG, they're pulling their funds. Yeah. If you do not shut down the systems and push this new update that we want, which even though it's going to take down everything for a while, we're going to pull all the funding. Jesus Christ. Think about it, folks. I mean, how much more needs to happen before people can wake up to these things? Here is the important things that we want to point out. We cannot be dependent on centralized systems a like this. like CrowdStrike. Yeah. Global outage. Yeah. Come on, man. In, as well as Microsoft. I think it is important to have alternative uh, operating systems as well. Right, to be able to distribute, but they have the system. Your access. There is that. Uh, there's that failover solutions for your databases. Mm -hmm. There is the backups that you have, and you're down for that long. That's why I'm saying that it is difficult for me to just say that this is an error. I think that these things are like the guy in the video said: controlled chaos. It is something that, um, you know, because at the end of the day, all we know is just what they've told us. We don't know the truth of what really happened unless we can see some, you know, usually Thanks. you have log, right? Yeah. Shit. I think this is a great opportunity to share the logs with the public. Post it on X so we can all analyze the logs. Thank you. But they yeah. have they have normalized war. <laughs> yeah. So now they're normalizing outrage. Is this not the second or the third outrage this year? This is this is uh, with especially with the airlines. Mm. Now, if an outage like this happened, and then this was the point in time when someone was deciding to maybe throw some missiles mm. your way. It seems to me that you will not be able to go anywhere. No. This is why it's important to plan ahead. You must have a distributed incident response. And I think even for the individual. Yourself. Right. Your family. There is the Apple situation, right? There's people, Apple babies, everything is in the same ecosystem. Mm -hmm. I think it is important to diversify. People have yes. Apple, 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 Apple to the desktop, Apple on the wrist, Apple everywhere. In your car. I think, yeah, I think it is. You might love Apple products, but I think you also have to think about your own security. Mm -hmm. This is where it is important to diversify your devices, mm -hmm. right? As you can see, as I made some changes myself mm -hmm. recently. I'm diversify using... your money too. Not to put everything in the bank, in one bank account exactly. or in your bank. Get some into the Bitcoin crypto exactly. space. That's what it is all about. And of course, um, always working to improve, whether it's your knowledge mm -hmm. on the systems. I mean, we're in, we're in a digital age now, right? If you remember when we came up to starting using devices, the boomers were mm -hmm. always asking us, oh, where is the start menu? Mm -hmm. I think that we're also crossing over into a new age mm -hmm. with new operating systems and new... Um, yeah, there's just new factors that will be in play that we need to learn. And your money right now all sits on this traditional system. Okay. As a matter of fact, they're trying to convert it to CBDCs why they haven't have more controls and it's even more centralized. Exactly. Being secured by people like CrowdStrike and you accessing it from maybe Microsoft services or from Apple and things mm -hmm. like that. This is where I think it is important to have Bitcoin because Bitcoin does not need CrowdStrike. Doesn't. The operating systems that you can run your node from do not need CrowdStrike. You understand? Um, it's open source stuff. So... That's what I would take away as a lesson from this. Mm -hmm. You guys let us know how you see this. Double up. I would like to finish by saying electric vehicles are great and everything. Mm. Um, but 
<laughs> Keep a gas car. They can they can get crowd striked. Don't get striked. Disable instantly. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very important to keep a gas car. Yeah. And a gas car that is not connected to the internet. Because mm -hmm. somehow mm -hmm. cars need to all be connected to the internet these days. It's, yep. it blows my mind. All right. So I think that's it for that one. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Present out. Double O. Thank <laughs> you.